Hey everyone, this is Ross, and uh, today we're going to be talking about rooting fig cuttings. Just a general overview, just some things that kind of uh, reflect on where we are at this juncture in the rooting process. Um, if you guys have been interested in the rooting process and kind of how I got to this point, um, I suggest you guys go back and go to the description of this video. Look at uh, the playlist that I'm going to link there. It's really really detailed of all the videos I put together answering a lot of your guys's questions um, you know I think it's really well done so far and we've really covered a lot of the rooting process and things that you guys could run into that I think uh, can be easily answered in those videos so if you have questions you're interested in, to see more on this go back and watch that playlist um, but in this video I want to talk about as well kind of what's to come in this closet because we still have actually these top two shelves here that I haven't been using. They've kind of been filled with these different tools and things that I've used to kind of help the, the rooting process along. Um, you know, these bins actually we just bought and they're going to be filled with seedlings very soon. We're going to put in some pots in here with some soil, start our seedlings quite early in this closet and uh, really get a nice start to the season so if you're interested in that you know stay tuned for more of these videos it's certainly going to keep me busy this winter time is starting seeds and and these uh these fig cuttings here now where we're at in the process of rooting is that a lot of these guys have been in the closet now for about a month month and a half some of them were even started two months ago um, and some of them will be started very soon, within the next month actually, down here on the floor. We have two bins that we're going to be adding for a total of 48 additional cuttings. We also have some slots that are empty uh, that I have yet to fill with cuttings as well. And um, those slots are either cuttings that have died or cuttings I just have not yet to fill like I said. I'd say in total we've been rooting somewhere around 100 fig cuttings and about five of them have failed at this point. And uh, it's only been about, like I said, at most two months. So if they failed at this point, it was probably because of rot. In fact, all of them have failed because of rot. I would say half of those were from my own trees and they were taken way before they should have been off of the tree uh, to kind of preserve the wood if we could and see if we could get them to root out at all um, because they were inevitably going to be hit by a frost and probably be damaged that way. I really took a chance you know just to see what would happen and see if we could root wood like this that's a little bit of you know quite flimsy actually more flimsy than this a lot of it's green you know just to see what would happen and see if we could do it and um, it's really a lot more difficult like that. It's not necessarily the green part of it, but the wood needs to be fully hardened for sure. I mean, this cutting here um, is probably not, it wouldn't be a good idea to root this as well, but I could, I guess, take this and have a low chance of success rooting it. Um, but that's kind of where we're at in the in the rooting process, right? We're two months in right now, and things I have to say for the most part are looking great. Um, I've been really impressed with this bin down here and I don't know specifically if I did something different or maybe the environment is da is different down here um, than it is up higher but this particular bin is filled with entirely I believe my cuttings um, cuttings from my own trees and I've really been impressed with the the progress a lot of these have made it's uh, it's really a nice thing to see when your own cuttings are this far along and doing this well. Um, I also want to mention that I think the lighting has a lot to do with it this year. We've really changed around the lighting. We've also adjusted the distance between the leaves and the lights as well. Um, really made a huge difference, guys. Keep the lights maybe like two to four inches away from the leaves. Make sure you have the right bulbs, 4100K. Um, you know, with a pretty good wattage to them. So that's really where we're at. We're really happy with how things are going. We have some additions that are going to be added in here. Um, some other things I want to mention is that we're getting to the point now where if I had stuck this cutting, I mean this one's quite new. This one's probably a month old at this point, but that's around the time that I should be wondering 
is this guy gonna do anything, right? Is this guy gonna do anything? How about this guy, you know? It really would help if I had put the exact date on the, the label here to represent when I started this fig cutting. Because about a month in, you should start to see something, right? We can't see the roots because our bags are black, but we should start to see some progress or some degradation. As you can see right here, this is certainly dried up, the tip of this Preto cutting. Um, it seems like my Preto tree really took a hit in the ground and any cuttings I took from that tree prematurely before the frost really were not hardened up in time and it's really a direct representation right here. So we're still kind of crossing our fingers with these, but this guy probably will not make it. You need to kind of make a, a call here, right? The ones that have been in the pots for a long time, they're not showing any progress, they're not doing anything. It's time to inspect those, okay? So what I would suggest is take the pot and get the soil out of there. Try not to damage any of the roots. Don't pull this, you know, don't pull the cutting out of there because there could certainly be roots in there. It could be rooted, it just didn't put any leaves. So what I would do is turn it upside down into a bin really knock out all that soil as gently as you can and inspect the cutting right see what's going on see if there's any rot see if there's any mold see what the problem is you know if there's roots and it just hasn't leafed out up top consider putting this in a warmer place right put this guy as an example underneath the lights so that it's maybe a bit warmer right here and not so warm right here maybe consider using a heat mat right make sure the soil isn't too wet right this is the perfect time to make a judgment call and say, okay, do I need to make a new cut on the bottom, make a new cut, expose that, um, you know, that green, let that callus over again and st restart this whole process. You know, you guys, because we're given such large cuttings, so many nodes, take advantage of that, right? Cut off a node, see what happens. Maybe because the cutting didn't root, maybe there's something wrong. You need to adjust the process. You know, but also be patient. Don't rush this. Like I said, it takes about a month, but some of these will be in here and I'll inspect them and I'll, you know, I assume there's nothing wrong with it, right? This guy right here, it doesn't look like there's anything wrong with this. It just needs a little bit more time, right? So if there's something wrong like this, where the Preto is just completely dried up here, it looks like it's kind of, you know, degrading in, its, in some way, those are the ones you guys should inspect, but at the same time, you know, make yourself a judgment call here and kind of evaluate these things exactly and know how long they've been in here. And if nothing's happened, no roots, no leaves, make a new cut, put it in a new environment. Just see what will happen if you do something different with it. All right. So that's the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. I'm really enjoying the fruits of my labor here. And I'll have a lot of trees to sell you guys come spring. All right, everyone. Take care, and I'll catch you off in the next one. Please go down to the description and watch that playlist. It's really well done. I've enjoyed making these videos for you guys, and hopefully that's answered a lot of questions. All right, everyone, see you tomorrow.